At one time, this was a common sight, a traveler stopping for gasoline and availing himself of a free map to check his progress. But since early 1973, the free road map has become a vanishing part of the American motoring experience. The reason? Cost. Coupled with the fact that all services declined when motorists lined up for scarce gasoline. Phillips 66 and Exxon still give away some maps, but the city map is becoming especially rare. With new streets being added all the time, the city map becomes obsolete much quicker and costs more to replace. City maps are available, but with more and more frequency, the traveler must plunk down anywhere from 50 cents to over a dollar in dispensers such as these. Still, there are some dealers who think it's important to continue the service even if it means absorbing the costs that the oil companies formerly were willing to bear. We just do it because the it, you know, it helps the people out and get around the city. And a lot of new people come in that uh, can't get around here in the city, so we just give them away, just try to help the people out. Does it cost you money? Oh, a little bit, but uh, we get it back in return. We keep the people coming in. The decline of the free map has been a boon to some map companies who stock the familiar pocket maps but get on the average a dollar apiece for them. With the oil companies selling all the gasoline they can possibly manufacture, they no longer need customer inducements. So for the most part, the free service station map has gone the way of other former freebies, such as antenna flags, trading stamps, and iced tea glasses, all a part of pre-energy crisis history. Michael Brown, Channel 8 News.